country people, especially people for Portacourt City. We for Able TV, we don't begin our work this morning. And the work we there for leg this morning. Now, the radio talk for the stage play where they happen on the 16th May. And I'm titled I'm Evil Blade and Orokoro. And of course, I know they alone for this work. I deal with my co host. Good morning, Pohacket people. Oh my god. This, I know she said it all, but to add to it, this is our day one on the radio tour. The stage play Irokoro and Evil Blade. I know you wonder, Evil Blade and Rokoro, don't worry, I'm not going to spill my juice yet. Just join us on the tour and you get more information for yourself. It should go up R I S C A A K F Free Free on the mic. And my name is Sophia Uche. And this is now your number one entertainment TV, Able TV. Oh yeah, me with go the tour. They won for the radio tour for the stage play, maybe Evil Blade and Orokuro. And with me here, I did with two persons, maybe act for the same play. Would we'll like to meet them? Job Deborah, Master Bob Manuel. Okay, please, I would like to ask, are you act on the play? Which of them? Evil Blade. What role did you play? There are lots of roles in Evil Blade. We actually don't have the main cast or uh, a lower, I don't know how to put it, but everybody is acting main character because. Once is your turn. It's been divided into different uh, uh, segments where once is your turn, you shine. Everybody's turn, you shine. So we don't have a major uh, character. You can't say this person is the major character because we're shifting from one story to the other, and we're trying to capture, uh, we're trying to capture all the uh, uh, states that are into that are into this female uh, circumcision. Okay, speaking of Evil Blade, I go like ask, what will be the inspiration behind this stage title, Evil Blade? Why don't I call him Evil Blade? Uh, eh, the name na Evil Blade because the bad blade, when did they use circumcised female? When God say, make the no circumcised female, na evil against humanity, against women, the women fall. So, what will they act? They say, will they try to pass message to people to stop the circumcision of women? You know, they go through pains and they go through so many kind of excruciating pains during childbirth. So that the message will they pass out with that. Many people can't see. Can't see how it be and why the reason why they will stop female circumcision. Still on our radio tour, I have a beautiful lady beside me, ma'am. Can we know your name? I'm Kala Nipitosai. Okay, so uh, from the fine names, I heard you're the business manager. Yeah, for River State Council for Arts and Culture. So what role do you have to play in this uh, stage play, Evil Blade and Iroko? My role here is to organize and see how the play will see the light of the day. Uh, and also if there is any cast that is missing, I can be part of the cast also. Thank you very much and I hope you do have a wonderful day. Still on this, this is your number one entertainment TV. Keep it locked. <laughs> I have with me the director of the two plays, Evil Blade and Irokuru. Can we meet you, sir? Okay. Uh, my name is Eze Ikegu. I happen to be the director of this wonderful production coming up on the 16th of this month. All right, sir. Uh, we'd like to know um, what inspired you to name this play Evil Blade. 
okay, um, it's really not my play. The play um, was written by Amatu Braid. He's, she's late now, so she named it Evil Blade because of the evil that blade has caused women when it comes to female circumcision. So to the director, next question I'd like to ask. Since this female circumcision, now something where don't they happen since it can't be like in our tradition, is it possible to abolish them? Yes, it's possible. It's all about enlightening the the people. Everything will start just like we had AIDS. They did a lot of campaign, uh, avoid it, this is what you avoid, this is what you do. So many things has happened and so many persons have been enlightened about it. So that is, it's not going to take a, a different tour when it comes to circumcision. Although the campaign has been on, we we're still doing our best to make sure that they understand that it is not doing the women or the um, young girls or the infants any good if they get circumcised. What they think are the odds or are the evil attached to it are not really true. So it is a barbaric act, so it has to be stopped. We could also forget saying that two play where they are so like this. So if you brief us about waiting the Orokoro to talk about that. Uh, Orokoro is, um, I, can, I can classify it as a classic, classical play. Um, it talks about the, the white men invasion into our communities. Although they came with good and evil, but the playwright has decided to, to take away or to seep the good and also seep the bad about the white man's invasion into our community. But it's a total theater, it's, it's, it encompasses both entertainment, um, um, education, and enlightenment. When I mean a total theater, I mean where you have songs, you have dances, and you have acting all together. With me on the mic is one of the actors for the play. Sir, can we know your name? My name is Ovunda Ihuan. Okay, what role and which play are you featuring in? I'm featuring in Orugoro. I'm playing the role of Orugolo, the priest, the chief priest. So how did you feel taking up this role? Well, I've always felt good performing. So it's just the same feeling I've had. Anytime I'm on stage, I feel very good because that's where I belong. Please, can we know your name? Well, uh, Mr. Saki Igbanbo, Director of Culture, University Council for Asian Culture. Okay, so I'm sure you're the director of the uh, stage play. Uh, no, I am not, but I am uh, overseeing. So how do you feel overseeing this play? Because um, stage play is something that's out of the box. People prefer to do cinema and all of this. So how do you feel overseeing? You see, uh, it's indeed amazing because um, the stage play is like you come to the theater, you watch live, not like the film or the home, home video that you watch. Yeah, if you don't make any mistakes, if you make mistakes, it's obvious. Do you think it's going to pass the message that it is supposed to pass to the audience? Definitely. Because if you look at Urukuru, though there are two plays. In fact, it's two plays in one, in one performance. If you don't look at Urukuru, it talks, it brings in religious um, a, a, a conflict between African tradi traditional religion and Christianity. And of course, it tries to tell us that Christianity is the order of the day. And then if you go to Evil Blade, it talks about female circumcision, that it is evil, it should be stopped. And then, of course, and the penalties, uh, the, 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 the pains and problems, people that engage in it go through. Thank you very much. It was nice having you on the mic. Do well to have a nice day. And this is still your number one entertainment television.